everyone welcome back to our channel learn with fun and i am your friend gauri today i wanted to show you how to make a character designer in scratch basically it's a kind of a project where the player can customize their own character of whatever kind if you have ever seen a game like that make your own cupcake a design your own fox this is that type of game and by the end of this video you'll be able to make your own game like this so let's get started first let's pick what you want the theme of your project to be do you want to design your own cat game or design your own dragon or design your own outfit it can be anything you want as an example I'm going to make a dog game but this video will work no matter what theme you pick so first we are gonna to draw one version of the character in our game if you haven't drawn much in scratch or you don't really enjoy drawing don't worry I'm gonna show you how drawing a style that's really easy to do and actually it doesn't require any drawing experience to draw a character first i'll hover first i'll hover over the choose a sprite option and click on paint here's the drawing style i really find easy to use i basically make the character out of simple circles i'm going to make a dog so i'll click on the circle tool and drag out an ovalish shape like this and make the outline visible and make it black and make it width to 4 then i'll click on this purple circle and change it to black now i'll make the eyes of my dog and when uh, one thing i like to do is once i've drawn the first eye i'll click on it and then copy and paste it and now i have a second eye which i can put over here now i want a dog's fur to be brown to change the color of the circle i just have to click on it to select it and then click the square again okay so now i want to give the dog sort of fluffy ears click on the point editing tool and you can click and drag those points to mold the shape into the shape you want so to make fluffy ears i'll drag this point over here like this and just like the eyes i can click and copy then paste it put it over here and then i can also flip it horizontally then place it at the required place then i'll set the color of the circle to pink and draw a circle to give my dog on one nose for same color that i used for the head to make the body now what we will do to select this whole thing just do it like this and then put it upwards then select the circle and with the eyedropper option i'll pick up the color same as the body and make another oval for body next i'll again go to point editing tool and then dragging those points i look my dog sitting then i'll just backward it and then i'll get my dog one tail again i'll take the basic shape circle and with the point point editing tool i'll make my tail for the dog and then i can just bring it over here rotate it a little and then send it backward so you see how the character is made up of different parts like the ears 
the face, the eyes, the nose, the body and the tail. Now I would put all these parts into different sprites and then the player will be able to mix and match them with some coding. Now for example I am taking these ears as a sprite. First I will click on one ear then I click on shift and then click on another ear. Then we can just copy it over on choose a sprite click paint and paste it. Next I'll first rename it as ears. Then I'll take the eyes and the nose. Now these parts are all away like this and I don't want it to be. I want it to be like this, joint and at the center. So now we don't require our basic figure of the dog. So we'll just hide it like this. And though all these parts are moved away from their original players, it's really simple to make them back. First, I'll rename all of them. And that's it. First, we will go on body. And then we'll click on go to x coordination as 0 and y coordination as 0. This is the original point. Then we'll go to event and when the green flag click, it will go to the original place like this. And then motion. Then we'll go to random position. Instead of this, we'll go to body, then events block, and when green flag click. We'll send this to each and every part, like right. Next, let's see how does it work. Now, there's one issue that the face is actually behind it, behind the body. Now, how can we fix that? It's really simple. We'll go on looks and then go to front layer and then see it's back. Next, we will go to costumes tab and then create duplicate of it. And we will create different example of this ears different ears for the person to change the character for his dog so for example if we fill it with black color and we create another one then we'll go to circle create the circle and then We'll go to point editing tool and just like the body of the dog, we'll create ears. Then we'll select this ear, make it a little bit tilt, shrink the size and then copy it and paste it to bring the second one. Then you can flip horizontal and then click both of this just them we will not move it from here otherwise it will create an issue the player when clicking on the ears change all these costumes it's really easy we'll go on the code tab and then in the looks button we'll click next costume see like this and we want this to happen when the ears are clicked or this sprite is clicked so we'll go on events block and then when this sprite is clicked then go to next costume for example let's see does it work or not it's working then we'll choose the backdrop we can choose any backdrop I'm choosing a stripes. 
Now we'll create the next and different options. And now we are done. This is one example. And this is a dog game which we made today. Like this. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe it.